today we decided to come to Clovelly, which is a really ancient village in North Devon on the coastline and it's um it's actually dated back in the doomsday book isn't it, it is. about it's 1100 been, ad yeah it's been got the same family for the last 400 years yeah it's it's it was been privately owned is not it yeah, privately man, owned managed by the same three families for the last 400 years so it's um yeah now it's run by a, almost a village trust and you yeah. can't live it. <laughs> well, you can, but it's very difficult, yeah. I think. to. I think you can, but they select you very yeah. carefully and there's a process. It's not board. easy. There's, yeah, there's to no, um, no one their hands. No. And uh, it's famous for its crabs and lobsters. So uh, it's a fishing village. It's been like that for a very long time, doesn't it? And it yeah. applies to France and Spain. So looking forward to lunch. Yeah, we're going for <laughs> we're going to try out lunch and we're going to go and see how, yeah, what we can find, good. good to eat. Yeah, lots lots of all around. Yeah, <laughs> and um, it's beautiful and sunny today because yesterday was a storm. There was a storm, but today it's really sunny. Yeah, beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. So, um, so we're going to go and have a wonder. Yeah. Aren't we? Excellent. Yeah? Let's go do it. Should go? Have fun. Let's go. and this is the tiny little harbour where all the little cobbled stones come down to and it is beautiful really beautiful we're gonna sit here we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna look out to this so it's only pedestrian access to this village only so there's no cars allowed um, so there's a proper little car park that you have to park at at the top and then you walk down the little cobbled uh, coastal um, road and this particular village Clovelly existed before the Saxons so um, it's dated way way back in the doomsday book of like 1100 AD and um, it's been privately owned for a long time and now it's just a, a private trust that looks after after the village so and it is it's just a one-off um, visit there's nowhere else like it I've ever been to before it is just so unique and uh, I would say it's really one of the most beautiful amazing places in Devon 
Um, so the, this is um, Christine Hamlin. She was a previous owner of the village. And um, it kind of stayed in the family for quite a while. So the Hamlin family carried out a lot of restoration um, on the village itself um, during that time. And uh, it became, well, it's a, just became a very, very important harbour in Devon for, um, and famous for its lobsters and its crabs. And it still exports out to Spain and France. And uh, it's real, it's a real gem. It's a real, real gem. And I've got to say, I can't stress, it's, the coastal scenery is just incredible. It's magical. Oh, oh you're your dad. So, um, yeah, it's privately owned now, um, and it's uh, owned by. So it's the Clovelly Estate Co Limited. They're the ones who, who, yeah, they own and maintain the village today. So, and they do a great job. I mean, it's beautiful. So there are options for accommodation if you want to stay here for a few nights and there's also boats um, and fishing trips um, that are available and you can go on a boat and they do excursions out to Landy Island from here and that's another very uh, amazing place that I would love to do that but I know that the boat ride there can be a little bit um, bumpy I've heard about that but it's an amazing place to go to and you can go there from here. So Clovelly um, village and most of its cottages do date back to at least the 14th century and uh, the cobbled streets. Um, they're known as the up along cobbled streets uh, or down along uh, and they were built from pebbles that were just hauled up from the beach. Um, they are incredible. Uh, just be careful, they can be a bit slippery on rainy days so be careful with that. But it, um, Clovelly was once a bustling fishing port and it was famous for its farming of mackerel and, uh, in, and its herring. So mackerel and herring is really, really important and it still is part of village life here as well. We're just sitting here waiting for our lunch and we're just watching over there in the distance. Okay, just over there. There's some swimmers, they're going swimming. They're going in. Can you see that fin? Yeah, I see Would that. you go swimming now? No, definitely not. Why not? It's so freaking cold. <laughs> It's not that cold, but it's a bit too cold to swim. But hey, do you know it's it's supposed to be really good for you to swim, to get in the cold water. Really? Yeah. Okay. It, it's supposed to be good for your metabolism and your immune system. Um, it, okay. It's supposed to kick your immune system into gear and, and make it strong. Okay, cool. Look at that. Look, they're going to go in. They go. They're gonna. They're going in. They're gonna sit. They're gonna put one of their toes in, and it's gonna be so cold. They're gonna come running out. The hotel, is it the inn? The Harbour Inn. The Harbour Inn. We're in the Harbour Inn, yeah, because it started raining outside when we were watching the swimmers going uh, and going for their swim. 
and um and then it just really started raining mm. so we managed to get into um to come into the pub because it, yeah, boys. but with social distancing yeah um it's not been easy to get in um in clovelly it's uh, it's quite tight and rules but um they very kindly gave us a lovely little table in a snug area here and we've got our lunch we've got some calamari and you've got burgers and yeah and got burger. really good i've got burger. yeah you you have haven't you you've got mm. fish and chips really good fish and chips um and i was just talking about charles kingsley the author now he was a famous professor um he was a, a lecturer and a novelist very really famous like he he did the sands of d the wrote the sands of d but really the one that i know him for is the water babies and that was my all-time favorite book as a child was the water babies and clovelly was also really um well it's it's well known for filming sense and sensibility isn't it jane austen sense and sensibility so once we've had some lunch maybe the rain will clear and we can get some more filming because it, there's just so much more to see and do then hopefully we're gonna get more time here and yeah hopefully yeah yeah that's right well hopefully the rain will clear and we and the food's great Charles Kingsley, apparently he grew up here as a child and um, then he came here as an adult a bit afterwards um, and he got inspired to write um, The Water Babies. They also filmed Treasure Island here. I can see exactly why they filmed Treasure Island here and sense and sensibility. There's also a Charles Kingsley Museum here that you can visit. And in fact, there's loads of little treasures here to discover. It's definitely one of those places you can come back to many, many times to discover more and more things. What have you found? Shark. Shark? There's a washed up shark. I didn't know if I could oh, touch yeah. that. I didn't know if I could touch that. Like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. I like to touch it. Yeah. 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 Dead yeah. Shark. Good. Very dead. Oh, yeah, look. There's a washed up shark. No, 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 no,
Listen, eel. Yep. Do you think they've come back from um, fishing? Yeah. They're just... And they've they've just dropped some. Yeah. I'm gonna touch this one. They've just been fishing, I reckon. I'm gonna touch this one. Oh, that's Ready? eel. Yeah. It's, it's definitely dead. Yeah, it's just a little one. It, I don't know. What, it's yeah. like a lemon shark. It's been eaten. Yeah. Poor shark. Okay, hi. So we're back home now. Um, it didn't take too long to get home. Um, it's about 40 minutes. And it was quite rainy when we left and it was getting dark because we spent all day long walking around and just it's been a great day. I mean, it's been an amazing place, a real amazing one of place to visit. And I would recommend it for anybody, um, family or anyone who's interested in history. It's just a beautiful, magical place. So everyone would love it. Um, so I got home and I've got a nice piece of cake. Just got a bit of cake, a cup of tea. And i um, not too hungry because we did get some food whilst we were out. So I'm still full up with that. Um, and got some calamari when we were there, which was really nice. So, I mean, this um, visit that we did today to Clovelly, um, it replaced another visit we were going to do yesterday. Um, but it was raining too much. So what happened is yesterday um, I made the cake and today we did a visit to Clovelly instead today. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the cake um, recipe that I'm sharing with you next. Um, I hope you enjoy that, that video. Um, it was fun to do and it's really delicious. So uh, I'm glad we've got some cake at home. And um, I was going to just add that um, they do uh, excursions and fishing trips from Clovelly. So you can have a day out doing fishing or they also do excursions out to Landy Island. And I think it's a couple, takes a couple of hours, I believe, to get there. Um, there were also dolphins out today. Um, we saw dolphins, but I couldn't get a picture. We couldn't get a very good picture because we spotted them from quite far away. And it was right at the end when we were leaving and uh, didn't really have the cameras out or anything, the videos or anything out. And um, there were dolphins swimming around, which was beautiful. And uh, when you go to, out to Landy Island, you get to see them really well um, if you do that visit. So maybe one day we do that. And um, there was there was a beautiful rainbow. We spotted a beautiful rainbow. It has been an amazing visit and full of history, uh, full of nature and um, just being out in the fresh air with the sea. Just a perfect day. Perfect. And I just feel really relaxed and just, yeah, really, I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get in my comfies. I'm going to get myself in my pyjamas um, after a nice warm shower and 
curl up for the rest of the night, I think. And maybe I really feel like watching some Sense and Sensibility after our visit today. Um, I do love my period dramas. I'm, I've always loved period dramas, all the Elizabeth, the Golden Age and Kate Blanchett and uh, the Brontes and all the, you know, Weathering Heights. So, you know, I just feel like curling up and either with a good book or putting a film on and uh, just relaxing for the rest of the evening and the children are going to get tucked up and uh, everyone's feeling rather tired now but in a very good way so thank you so much for you know watching our little uh, visit and uh, my our video and I hope you enjoyed it and um, Feel free to also, you know, subscribe to our little channel. Uh, if you like it, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And um, we will see you soon.